That's what? In the midst of gods. Wait, wait, go, hang a minute, wait, hang wait, a minute, hang a minute. Wait, yeah. wait. See the slowly, translation. Slowly. See the I'm translation. Not, I'm not interested in translation anymore. Why? Yeah. Because you <laughs> not only yourself. No, no, no. Let me you finish. Have to explain it. Let me finish. You have to explain it to them. You can't just read it. Could you please read it again? Yeah. Could you and read the translation? This time, hold on. I'm going to read it from the Hebrew. No, no, no. Stop. Okay. Stop. Yeah. Now yeah. the game of translation will be over. Finally. Hebrew. So the internilia. Psalms 82. There you go. Psalm 82. The game is. You understand Hebrew. Wait a second. Wait a second. Psalms. You'll be, you'll be surprised now. 82. Where are you from? No, 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 please do not. He's a Hebrew. <laughs> Interlinear. It's Italian, Italian. No, no, no. Where are you from? Where are you from? Let's, let's focus on Let's focus on this. Oh, you, have, you find it on the internet. Okay. He presides in the assembly, in the congregation of what? What is this word, Hebrew word? Here is at the top. I, I don't read Hebrew. Oh, there is English transliteration. L. L. What is L? I'll explain it to you. Right. What is L? L is, you've got Elo. No, what is L? I'll explain it to you. Don't give me Elo. No, I don't want Elo. What does L, L mean? The singular is the singular word. Okay. It's what does not, it mean? It's not the Almighty. What it's does not L the mean? What, what does L mean? Wait for the answer. Okay, you, okay. you yeah. answer God. Me. You answer me. God. Who said God? You ask me what it means, I'm telling you, you say who said, said so. God? Is it God? In Hebrew, El and Elohim. What does Elohim mean? Oh, one second. One second. One second. Now it's now three seconds. <coughs> what does Elohim mean in Hebrew? In the beginning. Bereshit bara Elohim. Hey to Shamae Muharit. Elohim. Wait, wait. What does Elohim mean in English from the Hebrew? Is God. It's the creator. Right. Elohim is is El with a plural suffix. Exactly. So so what is El what does L mean? L is just less than God. Okay? L is less than God. L is not less than God. Because God described himself as L, so he is describing himself yeah, less than God. Where does he describe himself as L? Yeah, it's a good question. Where does he okay. describe himself as what L? Are the what are the names of God? Answer wait, me. Wait. No, 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 no. Ask me. Answer me. There where does he describe himself as L? Sure, sure. When God says he's El Shaddai, El Elyon, El Gibbar, do you know what this means? These are not names with all respect to you. What These are, are they? descriptions of the Hang on. descriptions wait, wait, of God. Wait, 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 wait. God when God, does, no, when God calls. When they God called himself, yeah. I am El Gibbar, I am El Shaddai. When these he said are, that, listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. So clearly, clearly, you have been misled again in thinking that El doesn't mean God, but it's a lesser form of God. So again, go to the professors of Hebrew language, okay. not from me, and now, and and the three examples I've given you: El Shaddai, El Elyon, El Gibbar, and ask them. What does it mean? Now let's moving on. So coming back to now. No, 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 no. Jesus. Wait. Okay. Coming back now. The issues when we are talking about Jesus' self-identification. So the Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul, he said in the form of God. Did he say the only true God? No, he did not. So let me ask you again. Are you familiar? Let me finish, my friend. Let me finish. Are you familiar of any statement in the entirety of the Bible where Jesus himself identifies who the only true God is? Are you familiar? No. Are you familiar? Familiar with where Jesus Christ himself identifies who the only true God is? Yeah. Are you familiar? Yeah. Okay. Who does he identify the only true God to be? Him or someone else? After, after his incarnation, he claimed to be God the Father is the only true God. After his incarnation. And Jesus claimed to be, he was pre-existent. When Jesus, he was pre-existed, he was God. I've just, I've just taken the turn of Paul. He was the form of God. Listen, listen. He was the form of God. You are suggesting again, before incarnation and after incarnation, the only true God became different. Uh, hang a minute. I just explain. Uh, before I just explain to you. Before you explain. May I just explain to you? Are you claiming wiser than those who translate the Bible? Are you, are you claiming yourself you are wiser than those who translate the Bible? Which translation would you like? 
However, all the Christian translation, Say. all the all the Christian translations, they all have one interpretation: of Jesus is God. Where does it say Jesus is God? Uh, Which I, translation? I'm asking you: Are you wiser than those who translate? Um, I you understand Hebrew more than those wait, who translate wait, wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. I'm asking you a question. I am answering. Do you? Do you I am answering. What? So listen. The Bible translations have been guilty in mistranslating. I can give you many translations from Bible Hub where they translate the same phrase differently. Wait, wait. Now, when you say translators, if the Bible translators themselves are translating it differently, then what does it tell you? That some translation is misleading. It is making you think that it means God when it isn't. So I'm asking you again, open John 17.3. No, 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 no. I'll go with you. I'll go. But let me, let me just explain. Can you open it? Can you open it? Can you? I'm, I'm asking you questions. What does it say in here? Can you spell it? Can you spell it in English? What does it say in here? In the midst of. Can you spell it? L. No, 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 no. In English. Read it in English. What does it say in here? In English. Yeah. It says G O D S with a small G. A small G. Right. Okay. With with S okay. capital. Okay. okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait. Don't wait. go yet. Wait. Don't go yet. Wait. 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 Just wait. Just you've wait. just you've just answered my question. Wait. Wait. So, so they've translated wait, L wait, as wait, God. Wait. What does it say? So I've showed him one verse in the Old Testament. He says. God with a small g and with s. Yes. Okay? God with small g and s. Now, the pun of the Apostle Paul, what does it say about God himself in here? Capital G. Is that Hebrew? Hang on a minute. Is that Hebrew? What does it say? It? What does it's it say? Capital G. Capital G. Is there any s? No. No. So who? Wait. Wow. Here, so now we are talking. We are talking so about now Jesus. You are talking about. Thank God, you very much. Jesus. Shake my hand. No, no. Thank you very much to expose those Bible translators. Thank you. No, no, I appreciate. No, no. Now, no, no, wait, no, wait, no. wait, no. wait, no. wait, no. wait, no. wait. No. wait. No. Excuse me. Listen, no. listen. I don't understand. Now, no. listen, no. listen. No. Let's go back to the original Hebrew in Psalm 82. He's not talking. Excuse me. In Psalms 82. But who are they? No. Hang a minute. You spot. You spot. Hang a minute. I just want to okay. point to him. Can I bring you in as an extra person? Okay. Who is he? Okay. You, gave you had your chance. No, 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 no. I, right. I have one thing. One thing. Please. please okay. One, one thing. thing. One thing. Please. One thing. When it says here about the verse you point, okay, in the midst of the gods, to whom he was talking to? God. How many gods do you believe? No, 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 no. no. You, you miss it. No, hang a minute. You God. misunderstand. No, no, no. It says God. No, no, hang a minute. I'm going to say it. Okay. I'm going to say the following. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, you see, God with, yeah. with no S, with capital yeah. G. God has taken his place in the divine councils. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the midst of the gods. Mm -hmm. So we have God, Elohim, the Almighty, yes. and we have others. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what I said? No, You're no, no. proving me again and again. No, you know what I said? No, who there are, are many they? gods. Who are they? According to the Bible, many who gods. Who are they? Thank you. Well done. You have now established that there are many gods, but there is only one true God. Yes. No, no. Yeah, yeah, there's no. one true God. Do you agree now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. It took me how many minutes to no, establish no, no. that? But hang on a minute. The right. A small g. Thank you. Small g. So now you realize, as I said, there are many gods in the Bible, but out of all these many gods, there is only one true God. With yes. a Do you agree so far? With, with a capital, capital G. G. Look, look. Elohim. 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 Okay. Elohim. Now read verse six. Verse six. Mm -hmm. I said, "You are gods." To whom he's talking? It's a capital G, small G. Who is I? Who is talking to? God is saying. To the judges. Yes. He's talking is to that the who, He's listen. talking to the Israelite listen, judges. Listen. Listen. I'm going to show you the mis misleading translation by your translators. Open up your mind. Now, oh, read it. Verse 6. Yeah. Let's look at verse 1, first of all. I'm going to demonstrate to you without a shadow of doubt. I'm already pointed for you. Okay. I highlighted it okay. already for you. Look. <laughs> verse... I highlighted it already for you. Okay, look. Verse 6. Right, okay. Who are they? Excuse Those me. Those gods, who are they? These are the Israelite My judges. friend. Exactly. God called them my, gods. My friend. Relax. Verse 6 Curry. says God with a small g, right? Yeah. Good. In the Hebrew, verse 6, it says God. Look at the transliteration. Elohim. Look at the Hebrew word. Elohim. But look at the translation of the English. Okay. Stop and listen to yeah. me for a second, my friend. Yeah, I'm just, my intelligent I'm just friend. Reading, thank you. I'm just reading listen, your point. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. In your translation, God's, God's, Respect, brother respect, in humanity respect, okay i'll call you yeah, friend friend uh, right yeah. in your translation yeah. the word 
God with a small g is translated from the Hebrew word Elohim. Let's go back to verse 1. The first word, God, is that with a small g or a big g? Capital G. Right. Let's go up there, verse 1. Now, wait for the shock. Don't faint. Don't faint. Verse 1. God. Translated from which word? Okay. Elohim. I don't, I don't read Hebrew. Look, look. No, see, I don't read Hebrew. Hebrew. Look at the English translation. I don't he okay. English translation at the top. What does it say? Hello. English is God. No, at the top. Transliteration, not translation. Okay. At the top. Elohim. Okay. The same word has been translated to deceive you once with a capital G and once with a small g. Well done, no, 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 what what you? Well done, what what you? Thank answer. you very much for exposing just... your biblical translators. When the same word they translate to I mislead you. Sure. Are you wiser? Are you wiser than that website? Listen. I'm asking listen. you a question. Anyone who's listening here, Why? go to an interlinear. Psalms 82 in Hebrew, English and a transliteration. You will can find, I, can I, can I just use it? you will find the same word when it applies to God, they use a capital G. But when they know the human beings are also called Elohim, but we can't call them God, they deceptively translate with a small g. There is no deceptive in the Bible. I've just shown you. If if Jesus was claimed to be... Do you have anything to Jesus, say in their defense? If Jesus was claimed to be lesser than God... Do you have any... any listen. Do you have Crucified. anything to say Why in their defense? Look, you. do you have anything to say in defending your translators? Deceptive translators. Same word. First, they say God with a capital G because God himself speaking. The same word is used again, my friend, as Elohim. Same word. But for human judges, and then translated with a small g and with an s at the end. Okay. Shame on you and on your translators. End of discussion. Thank you. Enough.